Good morning, YouTubers. Ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls from all over the world. This morning we're working on the HMS Bounty's Jolly Boat. Our lifeboat. Last resort, man overboard resort boat. And whatever the directions call it, jolly boat. Like the Jolly Roger pirate ship. But this is the HMS Bounty. So, put up a photograph of the frames being built in the All the pieces that are involved with that. And these two or three deck plates, we just scored them with the uh, engineering pencil. It's got a pretty stiff. adjustable lead in there that you can so I used my little ruler and uh, measured every three millimeters from the center line and made a mark on the both ends and use that center line mark to start going out and making all the other lines to uh, give the appearance of deck boards and the stuffing they put in between the deck boards to seal them up. So I'm very carefully one board at a time assembling this. Trying to get some glue along that back wall. You can see this piece. We had to chamfer the edges <clears throat> a little bit of an angle and then notch out <clears throat> the back of it for that keel, keel beam coming up in there. So it sits close to the same height as these thwarts. They call them thwarts. Oops. Thwart. T-H-W-A-R-T-S. All these boards on top here are thwarts. And the ones around the outside are stiffeners. I want to glue that on there, but then if I do, it's going to be in the way when we go to plank it. So, so we're putting on the thwarts. First thing I did this morning was glue on that outside stiffener and I had a bunch of clamps on there to hold it while it glue dried and put some pins in the end of course we had to file the edge of these frames to fit that stiffener beam and the plans are showing us we're going to put all these sports on and then put a 1.5 by 1.5 millimeter beam on the inside on top of them. And we boxed in that rear part. I think there's something else I gotta put in there. We're installing the last two thwarts now. <clears throat> I've been cutting these 
to fit this dimension here and then filing them so they're just snug in there get a liberal amount of glue on these things so nothing gives away later on and I'm very carefully making that board level and I'm taking some scrap here spreading that glue out this one's a little bit too low front you can see I had to file a little notch in the end of that one as the thwarts aren't as wide as the frames are or the other way around the thwarts are wider than the frames that's what they call for in the book I look at the parts list and then I look at the picture. Oh my goodness, I knocked that other one off. Big old clawed hat. Fingers in there. I'm just pushing these thwarts where they're flush with the top of the frame close as I can get it because the next thing is going to be putting on this inside stiffener I'm going to have to get a length on that and then put some pressure on it probably gonna have to let these dry though before we go messing with that because then we're gonna knock something loose if we do so I'm gonna work on doing the cutting that rudder piece that's probably the framing member that holds the rudder next to the keel on the bottom that's probably walnut and then we'll look these numbers over real close and see what else we're missing before we go on to the next step because I'm working on this step now and I still got to do the inside board but we want to let that dry first so, the jolly boat under construction. Okay, a little further along here. This has got to go
mounted underneath that ledge which means I got to cut out some to fit, get that to fit in there and I can't do that until all this dries See, that's just as wide as the frame is so I'm going to have to play with the placement of that and get in there with the Dremel and open it up enough where I can mount this in there underneath that rail and then we're going to plank one side of it this is not the jolly boat it's the launch there's another one we got to build after this called the jolly boat I messed up on the wording because the one we're working on here now is step 76 to 86 and that is the launch the jolly boat is down here and that's the different different boat it's going to use these frame pieces out of this laser cut piece here and a bunch of other stuff but this is the launch that we're working on now with that roller in the middle and where it mounts on the deck and then the jolly boat it's got like eight or ten steps to build it it mounts on top of the launch so there's two lifeboats a launch and a jolly boat And the launch is going to have one side of the framing exposed like we have on the ship. <clears throat> so whatever side that's going to be, probably the port or maybe the starboard, yeah, starboard side. So we got to let all this dry here and we got stuff to cut off in the back and we got planking to put on one side. A bunch of little detail work to do so we got little columns in there underneath the thrashers whatever they call them there's five little columns in there so the more we play with that the harder it gets And we got these two little pieces here. Get mounted in there. And I gotta figure out what that is. That looks like it's on the side of the ship. That might be for lowering the launch or the jolly boat. I don't know. But I don't remember doing that on the side of the ship before. We'll have to look in the plans and see if we can find that. But uh, Another detail that's hard to find. So. The launch. Is about three quarters of the way done. Planking. <clears throat> Sometimes it's not very fun compared to other things. See, I got the end cut there soaking it in water 
it's going to do quite a curve. <clears throat> this particular curve is not easy. The other end is long now. <clears throat> so we gotta get more curve in there. Got a curve back up on the other end. So let's unplug the iron. I'll unplug my light at the same time. I think if we can get some pins in there. Okay, we'll try this again. Good thing it's a short plank. No matter what, it's a pain in the butt. Right there. I'll put a pin in this frame. And these are pins too, buddy. These last few planks will be the hardest. I might have to split, split some of them and shave them down. Let's see if we can get one here in the front.
got to hold that. This will get cut off. Filed off. We'll file on that some more later. Yeah, that one's in there good. These new pins are really small. They're so small I can't pre-drill them. some more pins. There's one there. Little bit by little bit. It does go in there. Skip one, help hold this down, then come back and do that one. Some of them go in easy, some of them don't. Choke up on that a little closer. Yeah. So after this <clears throat> little bit of planking here. couple little details to do I think this one will be done get to start on that other one that one doesn't want to go any further might have to just cut it off Well, that's almost short. Almost short.
framing member. Need a way to clamp that. Force it. force it without forcing something I don't want to force like that okay well before we give up here let's put this last pin in At least we got most of the planking done. We're only gonna do one side, so that's that's a good thing. The other side stay uh, cutaway view. And we got that roller in there. That was a little fun trick. Well, we'll let that dry before we do the last couple boards on that. Wow. What a job that was. Ooh. Pretty much at four to six hours, not probably four hours. Just planking one side. Still got a lot of sanding to do. And grind that end off where it's flush. Then there's some railings, top railings. That gotta go on. I gotta play with the fitting of them because it's a little high there in the back. But anyway, the top railing goes on something like that, flush with the outside. And then Uh, 
there's a little detail back here with a brass thing around the end of it and I think that might be it after we get those done Whew. so the long boat is in its home I haven't tied it down all the way yet because I got a feeling it's going to be in the way. So I left this where I can loosen up this block and tackle and remove it from the boat or the ship until we get further along. It won't be in the way. But the uh, hard part of assembly on that longboat is done. And then I added a uh, little bit of framework to accommodate for the base. And then I started on the jolly boat. Just had that on there overnight to help it bond together with the glue so now I got to take the sanding drum on the drum all and turn this rough shape into that smooth shape so that's going to take a little bit of time and then we got a bunch of ribbing to do inside of it and more thwarts and so on keel and rudder beam so just getting started on that and then it'll mount on top of the longboat so yeah I got two more block and tackles on front here that we got to add to go with them two so that took a couple days if not more plus the all the planking and everything on there I finally got that sanded down good. See if I can get enough slack here to get this out. So that's how the planking came out. Rough sanding. Do have a little more cleanup I want to do on it. Then I need the varnish and varnish and stain it, I think. Maybe sand some of these beams to look a little lighter. I don't know, I'll play with that if I got time. But well, that's the progress today. We're going to work on shaping this after glue up yesterday to look like that. Okay, so you can see we've got the outside all sanded off, except for these two pieces I added that weren't part of the kit. See a strange thing here. You see the rough framing coming up and the 424 and 423 don't go all the way across. They're just two short pieces on the bow and two short pieces on the rear. So 
that leaves a gap here in the top rail and then when you get over to here they're showing the gap but after it's that's the rough sanding going on there and the bottom being put on after the rough sanding's done there's no gap there anymore and the other pictures show no gap on the top rail either so you never know what you're going to run into so these were two pieces of laser cut from the outside parts of where these other pieces came from that sort of fit I had to put them in the little jigsaw over there and uh, shape them cut them to length <clears throat> and then after that dries we'll sand that off so then we put it <clears throat> a one by three millimeter rail on the inside and then we started gluing these ribs on so I'll get you set here and show you how I'm doing these ribs the ones in the bottom I just sort of eyeballed using the calipers for length and then cut the angle after you know I cut them a little long and then cut the angle afterwards and pre-fitted them before I glued them and I did find a center mark and I marked every 10 millimeters so I know the spacing is close to equal all the way across so now the last few frame boards here what I'm doing is setting it against the butt and then marking with this engineering pencil cut it off lay it down on the deck so I can pick it up with the tweezers and it stays flat so when I go to place it it's flat and then Take a little bit of glue here. Put it down in place, make sure it's in the right spot. The same here and the same at the bottom. And then I'm holding it down while I wipe some of that excess glue off. I think we got two more to go here. Cut that right on the pencil mark. Get some blue. Adjust it so it looks the same at the top and the bottom. 
and then look at it from overhead to make sure it looks fairly vertical. We got one more on the end here. Get that in there. Without marking. So you see that's not too complicated, just takes a little while and it's very tedious. Okay, we're fitting up the rubbing stakes. I had to break out the old heating iron there and put the whammy on this board just a little bit on that end and as you can see I broke one already So I pre-attached them. Some hold down pins here. Just below where the rail's gonna set. get a liberal amount of glue on there stick that down first where I want it Trap it with that pin. And then get this middle part where I want it. After that dries, we'll just pull the pins out. And we got one here on the end. push it in the oops wanting to jump off there that and of course this end will get cut off and I'll make a little short piece to wrap around that in there and we're gonna just like caulking we're gonna smear that glue line So we got the one on the other side. Now let's shift our focus over here. And we got 
little pieces. On the bow, there's one. It's parallel with the bow stem. And then there's um, two in the back. So I made that one for the bottom one near the keel. I still got to drill it out. But this one I got ready to install. And it looks like this one goes on the bow, but it looks like that one's got a bend on it that comes out further than the rudder stem. But why? Because the bottom one doesn't come out further. So, finish off the decorations on the jolly boat using various parts shown in the photo. Finally fix it on top of the launch, attach the rudder when in position. Attaching the rudder when in position. <laughs> well, unless they call that piece the rudder. I see, said the blind man. So there's a pre-cut piece of walnut there with a stem and a tiller handle. It's got to fit into those brass pieces I'm thinking about fashioning here. <clears throat> Part number 450. Rudder, pre-cut walnut. So, we need to go ahead and get that out and adjust these pieces to accommodate that rudder. This one we can put on up on the front but from the way the photo looked there I just went ahead and made stuff but I don't think it's right I'm going to have to remake it I think so anyway this is the jolly boat there's the finished long boat and this will sit on top of the jolly boat so obviously i spent a lot of time yesterday fitting all these floorboards and thwarts and side beams and then i made a place for a mast they show they show a, uh, a mast hole there on this one so I reinforced it with some brass. So I don't remember in the story of the bounty whether or not when the mutiny occurred that they let the captain go in the launch or in the jolly boat or both. I don't know. I remember he let him go in a boat said you're on your own thousand miles good luck but this one had a sail so I guess you could have made it that far so let me go dig out those rudder pieces and figure out how to make that hinging point whether it needs to be like the ship or not because 
it might be just a pin or something we can make on the rudder that would slip into that spot. The uh, lifeboat on the San Juan has got a rudder on it, but it came pre made pewter and it just slipped into two little eyelets that were on the back of the boat. So it wasn't a whole bunch of work. Like the rear rudder is, you know, massive. It took your whole day to do that. So let me figure that out. Well, there is the finished jolly boat. And the long boat. We got to add two more sets of and pulleys here to hold this one down separately. My rudder just fell out. See there? The rudder we made. Looks into those two brass. So well, that's the finished jolly boat with a mast. So once we mount that with some more locks and tackles, it's time for putting cannons on all those stanchions. We got 10 of these to do. And a couple little details here. A couple little details there. But now we're into the last few pages and it's all detail and rigging. Pretty soon we'll be doing dead eyes. But the jolly boat part, uh, this week's work, is done. Minus some pulleys to hold it down. Good progress though. Just worried if whether or not we're going to make it through that. But Thanks for watching.